Oh my God. Wow, my ear is blue. It's good, huh? Yeah. Her feather, she feels so funny. Woo, Kim, hold up. I'm trying to put her back in, huh? What is going on, everybody? Casanova here, your seven foot connection. I'm glad to see you all back here, man, coming to visit us again. See, if y'all can look back in the background, y'all can see that it's starting to get dark out here. I'm finna get ready to light this grill up, put us a couple steaks on here for the night for dinner. Y'all gonna be seeing this video in reverse, like the events that take place throughout this video actually gonna go backwards from the way they actually took place. Uh, man, I just wanted to thank you guys and uh, for who all came and watched that uh, testimony video that I just put out. If you guys all have time, man, y'all can go check that out for those of you who haven't, because I truly believe that that video can minister to some of the people out there, especially those who actually have been through some of the trials and tribulations that I went through, man. You can skip over all that trouble and go straight to Jesus, man, right off the top. You, if you guys hear that noise in the background, that is, uh, so you ever heard the phrase pecking order? That phrase originates with chickens. So the new chickens that we call baby chickens, they not babies anymore. So I put those golden three, the golden comets, I put them in the cage with uh, the big chickens and they are going through the pecking order. I, I'm, I'm, I'm slick nervous for them. I want to pull them out a little bit, but you know, they're going to have to get it sooner or later. So hopefully everything work out with them. And I, I hope I don't want nobody to kill them because worst case scenario, I just get up and eat them tomorrow. But I don't, I don't want that to happen. I want to, you know, keep these guys laying. And so I got a question for you all, and that's why I broke in this video. Some of my Gospel Project geniuses out there, every one of those, I, what's that, 13 hands out there, every one of them, every single one of them, they all stopped laying at once. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what that is. And I know some of you guys out there know already. So y'all, somebody let me know what is going on with these guys. Uh, somebody tell me something. I done gave them oyster shell and all that good stuff. I don't know if it's a season change or if it's something we're doing wrong. Because y'all, I always tell y'all, all, um, I always tell you guys that I'm a novice at this and I'm learning as I go. Man, we got these 13 chickens and the Lord is using these chickens right here, this small amount, to prepare us for the vision that we have to be able to give a meal, uh, to be able to give away a million dollars in meat. And, uh, you know, I'm starting with chickens. Uh, Brother Tim up at IG Farms, he got goats, chickens, and all that good stuff. They got a lot more acreage than we do right now. Uh, but, you know, so we're starting small with something that we can easily manage and be able to figure out this thing. Because I know, you know, when God, when you, when you're faithful over a few, God will make you rule over many. So we're going to start with these few and uh, work our way up. But, man, we just in the learning process. And, man, we appreciate you guys' help. And every help that you uh, give us, the advice that you give us, we take it. And we, uh, we apply it. We appreciate it. And we're thankful for it. And that, when you guys participate in the things that we're doing, that's you participating in the gospel that we have. Like anything that you see us doing around here is not just for our sake. It's for the sake of furthering this gospel. Even you look, the smallest little things, and, and, and I know I'm getting away from the video, you guys. The smallest little things that you guys do, you know, man, you never know what you're doing out there. How small of a thing that can, can be ministering to somebody else. And that's what, that's what Jesus came here to do. He came not to be ministered to, but to minister. You know, and to minister means to serve. That's why Jesus washed the, uh, the disciples. That's why he washed their feet instead of having them to wash his. You know, because that's what it is to be a leader. So, yeah, man, that's what the whole vision is for this. Y'all already know all that stuff. And I'm going to get out of the way. So I let the, uh, let the family take over the video today, you guys. Uh, they decided to give dad a break, you know, because we got all this stuff going on. And y'all going to see the, some uh, my aunt come by. She had came by for our Sunday service here at the Gospel Project home base. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'm going to start using it. I ain't even mean to say it. But, yeah, but at the Gospel Project home base, she started up. She came by for service and everything. And uh, she wanted to come out here and uh, take a look at the chickens. I might I might put the clip in at the beginning of this video. I don't know. If y'all already seen it, y'all know. <laughs> yeah, that's my name, channel, y'all. Well, her name is Carolyn. We call her Channel. But, yeah. But let me get on out the way, y'all. I'm going to get dinner started and... We're going to get on to today's video. Not a lot of talking, just a lot of working. All right, let's get to it.
Gospel Project family. Good afternoon. Uh, me and the boys are going to straighten the chicken coop out today and get it all nice and tidy. We had some bad weather this past week and kind of like made the chicken coop real muddy and stuff. So Cass brought home a barrel of hay and we're going to get it all spread out in all the coops and hang up some nesting boxes to get them off the ground. And that's going to be our project for this afternoon. boxes hung up and uh, try to make it look a little nicer. some stuff inside that here. I'm a so. good helper. You are a good helper, yes sir. Tell me what to see. Water spout. The water spout. Yeah. That's the whole world. 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 That
Uh, all right guys we have that wrapped up um on our big chicken coop we're gonna go over here to our smaller chicken coops and give them some hay He's like so. <laughs> I'm so handsome. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. We got it all set up. Got all the hay put in here. CJ's got all his chicken coops set up over there, nice and clean and looking great. I guess we're gonna wrap it up for a while and start making dinner and getting everything set up for tonight. Get all the stuff washed and clean and ready for school tomorrow and work and uh, another week. Hey, y'all. Hey y'all! Uh oh! Come on, him! Come on! Tick, 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 come on! Come on! Come on! Here! Come on! Come on! Go on ground, TJ. Down on the farm today at Kim and Cass's, being a true country girl, feeding the chickens, and I'm really enjoying today. Today has been a wonderful day. It's so many lovely chickens out here. Just like being in the country. And she's running from it. <laughs> <laughs> here. Throw it at them, Fiji. I don't get it. I want to go back here where the ugly chick, where the pretty chicken is. The one with the pretty hair. Let's look at the fluff chick. Let's look at the uh, seal piece. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thing. This one right here. Well, what is that, Kim? In the... Oh, that's a squirrel. Oh. And... Oh, my God. Well, Kim, where y'all get these? Those are the silkies. The what? The silkies. Oh, them chickens. Them chickens. Yeah, they're bantam. Black bantam silkies. Their skin is uh, a dark bluish. Purple I stone. don't know, but them chickens so pretty. You want a hot one? Pick it up. Set your cup down right there. It, 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 it. You can pick it up. Come here. Chick, 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 chick. Just grab it. Come here. Just grab it. Come here. I'm scared for real. It ain't going to bite you. It won't. No, it won't pluck me. No, ma'am. If it pluck me. It ain't going to pluck you. Just grab it. Bro. Grab it. I can't. Here you can. Just dump the food in the bowl. There you go. Come on. Grab it. Uh -uh, it won't come out. Here, hold the phone. I'll grab it. Yeah, hold it where it's facing this way. Leave it to Kim. She's not afraid of anything. She, they, she's a true country girl. Look at Kim down in the cage, pulling the chickens out. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me see it, Kim. Look at here. It. She'll bite me. Here. Here. Check, hey, baby. Check out his ears. Look at her ears. Look, look at her ears. Look. Oh, my God. Oh, it's on this side. Look at my eyes. Look on this side right here. Look. Right here. She's trembling. That's all right. Oh, my God. My ear is blue. 
pretty, huh? Yeah. Her feather, she feels so funny. Woo, Kim, hold up. Woo, Kim, hold up. Woo, Kim, hold up. I'm trying to put her back in, huh? <laughs> I've never held a chicken a day in my life. <laughs> it's the first time for everything, huh? But they are so pretty. Yeah. Look, you guys, look. Look how pretty them chickens are. Well, why is this hair? Oh, Kim, look. He'll eat it out your hand. No, he won't. I'm scared of him. <laughs> so we're going to end it right here, you guys. We had a good time. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys back again tomorrow for service. So until we meet again, we'll see you guys next time. Call. <laughs> I just covered it all like this. Heavenly Father. Hey.